Hello and welcome to the episode 166 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. A concert that couldn't be cancelled, the recording of It's Only Love and the planting of some acorns are among the events animating this episode. As usual these days, let's start the episode with the 15th of June 1961 live at the Top 10 Club. The Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, performed there for their ongoing second residency in Hamburg, West Germany. One year later, in 1962, the same Beatles lineup performed yet another lunchtime and evening concert at the Carbon Club in Liverpool. The evening engagement saw them topping a bill, also featuring Group One and Vic and the Spider Man. In 1963, we have another of the pre-chart success bookings, with the Beatles playing a JB Club's promotion booking at the City Hall in Salisbury. The fee for the night, arranged in April 1963, was £300, about £6,300 in 2020 money. As the date approached, Beatles manager Brian Epstein started to have doubts about the level of security that the venue could offer to the band. After all, Beatlemania was already well on the rise. Epstein tried to cancel the booking, offering £200, about £4,200 in 2020 money, to JB to make up for the lost night, but the production refused. The result was a full house with 1,693 ecstatic people in the audience. In 1964, in the afternoon, the Beatles attended a reception at their hotel in Melbourne, Australia, organized by EMI. During the event, John Lennon found out that the label had changed the cover of With the Beatles in Australia. This had happened because of Australian trade union rules, which required that all album artworks had to be re-photographed, altered or created from scratch. Creating a new design was the best option available, but John wasn't happy with the result and had a thing or two to say about the practice. After a couple more performances at the festival hall, finally with Ringo Starr back on drums, the band ended the day with a private party in Turok, one of Melbourne's suburbs. And let's see if you guess what I am about to say. That's right, please support this podcast to help me keep going with the creation of music-related content for you to enjoy. Visit www.simonmas.com support to find out how you can show me how fab you are. Even a little message or share on your socials can do a lot for my morale. Thank you for your precious support. Moving on to the 15th of June 1965, we get the second straight day of work in Abbey Road for the Beatles. Today, starting from 2.30 pm, they completed It's Only Love in six takes, for the non soundtrack side of Help. Only four of the takes were complete. Once the rhythm track was down on tape, the band started experimenting by overdubbing three electric guitar parts on the song. The session was wrapped up at 6.15 pm. And let's close the episode with John Lennon and Yoko Ono planting acorns for peace at the St. Michael's Cathedral in Coventry, in their first public outing together. The acorns were soon stolen by Beatles fans, and Lennon and Ono sent some replacements that were planted and put under surveillance 24-7. With this inconvenient theft, we close the episode. What a Fab Day will be on tomorrow, with a rehearsal for a Top of the Pops appearance. Tune in for more. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.